Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in an authentic hadith, Ya ibadi, O my slaves. So every slave sitting here, pay attention. May Allah make us slaves of Allah and die as slaves of Allah. Ya ibadi. Law anna awwalakum wa akhirakum. This is get to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. See His majesty, see His power. Enjoy this. If every single one of you, from the beginning of time till the end of time, insakum wa jinnakum, all of the human beings and all of the jinn, Allahu Akbar, you're appreciating the numbers. قَامُوا فِي صَعِيدٍ وَاحِدٍ فَسَأَلُونِ Every single one of you. Raised your hands to Allah. Every single one of you. At the same exact instant. And you ask Allah for something. فَأَعْطَيْتُ كُلَّ إِنْسَنَ مِنْهُمْ مَسْأَلَةَ I'll give every single one of you what you asked for. لَمْ يَنْقُسْ ذَلِكَ مِنْ مُلْكِ شَيْءَ My kingdom will not diminish or decrease whatsoever. إِلَّا كَمَا يَنْقُسُ الْبَحْرُ Except whatever is decreased from an ocean when you dip a needle into it. Allahu Akbar subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is your Lord. What's amazing is not only how Allah as Sami'i, the all-hearing, was able to know who asked and who spoke. It's not just Allah al-Aleem that knows what you asked for and what's internal and what's external. How Allah al-Basir saw the requester. But what's also amazing is how Allah al-Mujib responded to every request. This is the one whom you worship. There's a sister. This, I'm telling you the story second person. There's a sister whom her husband has left for some time for some task he had to do. So she stayed over her father's place. She had a daughter. Very poor family. When she moved to that house, that daughter, the granddaughter, now she became very sick. So all what the mother can do is pray to raka'at to Allah, grab a wet towel, put it on the forehead of the girl, and make dua to Allah. That's all that means she can take. Allah is my witness that someone came and knocked on the apartment at 1 a.m. in the morning. The mother put on their hijab and her father came, which is the grandfather of the granddaughter, said, open the door, Assalamu alaikum, alaikum salam. It was a man wearing a suit with a briefcase. He said, can I go check on your granddaughter who is sick? He's like, yeah, sure, tafadl, come in. The doctor walks in. Sees the granddaughter, checks on her. He says, like, okay, you know, her case is a little difficult, but I'll give you some medication, a prescription. Make sure you buy it as soon as possible, and inshallah, she'll be fine. The mother looks at her father, they smile, because they can't even afford the medication. But jazakallah khairan anyways. The doctor walks, leaves the apartment, and stands right by the door. The mother says, jazakallah khairan. He says, wa iyaakum wa jazakumullah khairan. And the doctor is still standing. Now he's getting a little awkward. Okay, move on. He said, where is the fee for this private visit? She said, what private fee? What visit? He said, what do you mean? You called me. I left my house, left my city to come to this poor village of yours. It was a long trip. And coming, checking on your daughter and all that work. And he said, what fee? What private visit? He said, doctor, wallahi, we never called you. He's stingy and you're a liar too. Doctor, I swear by the one who created me and you, I don't even have a phone in my house. He said, what is wrong with you? Isn't this the apartment of so-and-so? She said, no, it's next door right here. He came to her and he told her, Wallahi, it is Allah who sent me to you. Inna kulla shay'in khalaqnahu bi qadr. There's no such thing as coincidence. I'm going to come back to you. He goes to the apartment that actually called him, subhanAllah. Finished with him, came back. And he told her, what's your story? She told him the story. My husband went for a task. I made dua to Allah because my daughter was really sick. All what I can do, grab a wet towel, put it on the forehead of my daughter, hoping Allah will cure her. He told her, it was Allah who sent me to you. And I will pay for the all medication. And I'll give you a monthly allowance until your husband comes back. Allahu Akbar. And then she enjoyed that ni'm of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After many months when the husband came back, she told him the story. The husband and the wife, they went to the doctor to say, Jazakallahu khaira. And then the doctor stopped the monthly allowance. But just to teach you how beautiful the dua was, subhanAllah, actually, my shaykh was saying that when that mother and that father had difficult financial situations, she would tell her husband, how about you leave for some time, have Allah provide for us. <laughs> she lived it. She lived it. We have to appreciate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't ever underestimate the dua.